Hey everybody, it's that time again. Uh, I just got the shipment this Friday of the October FPV crate from fpvcrate.com. Um, my awesome wife wound up subscribing it, me to it and I've been, I've been reviewing them and unboxing them for you guys here on YouTube. So let's dive right in. This is how Brian cut himself on the end. So, in this month's crate, I'm going to hide all my coupons, or co we have a Rush Tank 5.8 GHz VTX with, with Smart Audio, a Cadex Turbo Micro F2 FPV camera, a Luminear Axi 2 straight MMCX 5.8 GHz antenna, um, it looks like three sets of the Gemfan Hurricane 51466 propellers, uh, the FPV October sticker sheet, yep, oh, sorry, the FPV crate October sticker sheet, and then a Brain 3D discount coupon code card. All right, so here we got the stickers. I'm really likely to cut myself on the internet. That was not a good way to be open to that. So this looks to be the Yeah, the, geez, I don't know what I'm doing. Some serious packaging on this. Here we have the VTX. The Rush 5.8 GHz model tank VTX. I'm interested in that. I'll put that over here. Okay. And here are the the Hurricane 51466 gem fan propellers. We have the Straight through Luminaire Axi 2 antenna. And lastly, here's the Cadex Turbo Micro F2 camera, 4 to 3. And it's black. And then this was just floating around in the box. This is the, the camera's cable. I don't know why that was loose. So what do you what do you guys think? The uh, the crate winds up costing about sixty five dollars, and I haven't looked. We'll look again here real quick at uh, at what FPV crate says, but I haven't looked at their re suggested retail price. But I got a few sets of propellers. The Axie, the Axie antenna, which I am, I am definitely a fan of, and a VTX, and I will be honest with you guys, I am not all that familiar with this particular VTX.
And then we'll take a look at this. Yeah, 15% off coupon for Bren 3D. So, yeah, the F, the FPV crate team would have the manufacturer's suggested retail price at $87.84. And I paid, and we paid $65 to get this. Uh, overall, I think it's probably a pretty good value. Um, you know, in the past, I've been a little, I don't want to say, but just a little bit disappointed in the propellers and that they were kind of some old props that kind of gave me the impression that they were trying to get rid of some old inventory that, that hadn't been selling as well recently. I don't know if that's that's really the case, but that's kind of been my impression. Um, it certainly seems like with the parts that I got in the September, August, and July crates that, that I got uh, inching towards that that hopeful goal of being able to build an entire FPV crate quad. Um, I guess it remains to be seen if I wind up getting there, but hopefully when November's crate comes along, I'm, a, I'm another step closer and I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what might be in that box. What do you guys think? Uh, leave a comment below. Um, what kinds of things haven't you seen in the crate that you'd like to see? What kinds of things are you disappointed that you saw in the crates? I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Thanks for tuning in.